Standing proudly at 267 meters or 876 feet, the Royal Oasis Hotel in Haiti holds the current record as the tallest building in the Caribbean. However, Jamaica has ambitious plans to surpass this height with the construction of the Pinnacle. Four towers boasting 28 stories each, which will claim the title of the Caribbean's tallest buildings. Stay tuned for more details on this upcoming architectural marvel that is set to dominate the Montego Bay skyline. The Caribbean is known for its beautiful beaches, tropical climate and rich culture. But did you know that it also has some impressive skyscrapers? Some of the tallest buildings in the Caribbean are located in Santo Domingo, the capital of the Dominican Republic. One of them is known as Torricane, a residential tower that stands at 178 meters or 584 feet and has 42 floors. It was the tallest building in the Dominican Republic until 2011 when it was surpassed by Anacoana 27, another residential tower that reaches 182 meters or 597 feet and has 45 floors. But these buildings are not the only ones that stand out in the Caribbean skyline. There are also some remarkable architectural landmarks that showcase the history and culture of the region. For example, Havana Cathedral in Cuba is a stunning example of Baroque style, with its asymmetrical towers, ornate facade, and intricate sculptures. It was built between 1748 and 1777, and is one of the oldest cathedrals in the Americas. Another example is the Scholzer Library in Martinique, a colorful building that was originally designed and built in France for the 1889 World's Fair. It was then dismantled and shipped to Martinique, where it was reassembled and opened in 1893. It was named for Victor Scholzer, a French abolitionist who donated his collection of books to the library. But the most exciting project that is currently underway in the Caribbean is the Pinnacle, a 350 million US dollar luxury residential resort that will be built in Montego Bay, Jamaica. The Pinnacle will be the tallest building in the Caribbean, reaching 300 meters, that's 984 feet, and surpassing the current record holder, the Royal Oasis Hotel in Haiti, which stands at 267 meters or 876 feet. The Pinnacle will also be one of the most sustainable developments in the region, incorporating solar energy, rainwater harvesting, smart grid technology, and eco-friendly parking garages. The Pinnacle is expected to be completed by 2028 and will transform Montego Bay's skyline and tourism industry. Nestled on the scenic Reading Peninsula, the Pinnacle emerges as a beacon of sophistication, comprising four majestic 28-story towers namely the hummingbird, the swallowtail, the canary, and the phoenix. This architectural marvel will not only offer a variety of apartments and penthouses, but also includes 15 exclusive private villas. The resort's allure extends beyond its luxurious accommodations, boasting a range of amenities like a private club, spa, tennis and multi-sports courts, and even a marina, ensuring an unparalleled lifestyle for its residents and guests. The story of the Pinnacle officially commenced on January 20, 2024, with a groundbreaking ceremony attended by distinguished guests, including Prime Minister Andrew Olness and the Tourism Minister Edmund Bartlett. Prime Minister Olness hailed the project as a game-changer and a game-raiser for Jamaica's tourism industry. The development is expected to attract high-end visitors and investors, contributing significantly to the economic and social development of Montego Bay and Jamaica as a whole. Anticipation builds as the construction of the Pinnacle is projected to span four years, with the first two towers slated for completion within 36 months. Beyond reshaping the skyline, this endeavor is set to create over 2,000 jobs during the construction phase and over 500 permanent jobs once operational. The economic impact is substantial, with expectations of generating significant revenue for the country through taxes and fees. The Pinnacle stands as a testament to the potential and attractiveness of Jamaica as a destination for tourism and investment. This unique and ambitious development reflects the confidence and optimism that both the developers 
LCH Development Limited and the government have in the future of the country. The Pinnacle is more than a luxury residential resort. It is a symbol of progress, innovation and a promising future for Montego Bay and the Caribbean. One question though, will it be safe with the rampant pace at which earthquakes are occurring worldwide? Let me know what you think in the comments below. But as we conclude our exploration of the Pinnacle, we marvel at its grandeur and significance in reshaping the landscape of Montego Bay. This $350 million Lux residential resort is not merely a structure. It is a bold statement, promising a new era of opulence and sustainable living. Stay tuned for more updates on this monumental project that is set to redefine luxury living in the heart of the Caribbean. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching.